What's happening, fam? LA All Movement still moving. Book entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father. Amazon Kindle Create Space. The convenient race card. This is for all those people out there who are not black, who play the racism. There's no such a thing. No, no, I did. No, it's not. It's not racism as you think it. It's not racism. No, that's something else. I find y'all very hypocritical. You know why? Because. If a black person talks about something and say, yeah, that's racial. No, it's not. You're pulling out the race card. Okay. Everything's not racial. Touche. So when people flip out for affirmative action, I'm not getting a job because of affirmative action. Hey, I understand. Because when, when other people pull out their convenient race card, they, they all of a sudden get hooked to black America. You know, like I said, you know, like I was talking about what, like I was saying about affirmative action. It's just, it's because of the blacks. It's like black people. I feel discriminated against like those black people. Wait a minute. I thought you said everything isn't racism and racism doesn't exist. But now all of a sudden affirmative action, you understand the struggle. Okay. The gay community. No, it's not. It's not like that. It's not. It's not racism. It didn't. And then, well, it's the, you know, it's LGBT rights, and it's wrong. It's just like it's like it's like civil rights. It's like how they treat the black people. Oh, but <laughs> the gay community was part of the racist community. So now. All of a sudden, you understand, you, you, you profit off of it, then you understand it, you perpetuate it, and then you use it to your advantage. This is what everybody's doing. The convenient race car. Hispanic community does the same thing. That's why, you know, they say... Um, Agree with democratic policies, but then vote Republican. Because on one end, using the race card, because you know the way they want to treat us is 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 horrible. You know, brothers, we need this, this brown black coalition need to hook up, get together, because we treated them impro improperly. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, to this day, I ain't find out one Hispanic person that talked that that that. Said anything bad about George Zimmerman to this day. All the all the all the, the people that call uh First Lady Obama a uh, hey, to this day. You know, but you know, but when when um things happen and it's you know, it's just like being treated like the black people. You know, I remember they had a, a, a jail documentary when um I forget what it was a teacher Chong that went to jail. He was in jail. He says, uh, you know, I've been smoking weed all my life. And then when I got put in jail for this and it, for this and that, you know, how did you feel? I felt black. That pretty much explains it. But then it's like, oh, you know, people don't understand the race, racism, though, you know. Women talk about feminism and sexism, and then all of a sudden, it's just like being black. Even though white women are the biggest benefactors of affirmative action. But when you're not getting your, your way completely, you understand racism. And even though those same women, you know, they don't say anything about the discriminatory practices of uh, family court, you know. But I could use the same example with the MGTOW community, you know. You need to go our own way. 
brothers band together. <laughs> okay. What is it like? It's, you know, it's, you, you black guys don't understand. You know, you don't need to get, you, you, you don't get, a, you don't get it. We're being oppressed. We don't get, hmm. But we need to get, get with you because we have an understanding of being oppressed by your ass, but we don't get oppression now that you feeling oppressed. Okay. Now, now you pull, you pulling out the race card, are you? Okay. But it's convenient, right? Religious, you know. The Muslim community does the same thing. You know, and the problem is you got people uh, in our community who are on the fence, who, who seem to be constantly on the fence to the point where they can't just, you know, they create these situations where everybody wants a coalition knowing that they ain't going to do a damn thing for us. But when, when they're affected, all of a sudden we need to put out the race card. But then when we're affected as a community, just us. Why are you pulling out the race card? Well, you don't even under It's funny how you understand the race card when it's convenient for you. But then you, you're a fucking imbecile, you know, when it pertains to us. Don't believe you. You know, no, I just don't believe you. It is what it is, you know. Same thing with people, classism and everything else, you know. But that's just how I feel about it. I'm out.